David, I just want to actually pull up a tweet of yours. You, you tweet mm. that the Bitcoin argument that proof of work is good for distribution is also saying minor sell pressure is good for Bitcoin. Perhaps you can explain a bit about what you mean there. Right. Um, so some, some cohort of Bitcoin maximalists like to call Bitcoin number go up technology, as in it's destined to only go up in price. Uh, and, and then they also say that, you know, proof of work in contrast to proof of stake, you know, miners, when they mine Bitcoin, they have to sell it because they have costs and expenditures. And that's just the nature of proof of work is a rat race to consume as much electricity as possible. Uh, and, but that's also saying that baked into Bitcoin is this daily sell pressure of BTC, the asset on the secondary market which inevitably every single day suppresses the price just a, a meaningful amount. Uh, and it, it, it was funny, the, the both communities, both the Ethereum communities and the Bitcoin community saw this tweet and they were like, thumbs up, yes, agree. Uh, and it's in interesting to see the way that it lands. It kind of speaks to like the different dispositions of people that kind of fall in these different communities. Uh, when I see when I talk about um, proof of stake and and specifically EIP one five five nine, proof of stake is inherently an issuance reduction mechanism. It, the minimum amount of ether needs to be issued, and it, and since it's a non a non consumptive security mechanism, the stakers don't have to sell. They don't have any costs. Uh, and so when we want to talk about like what is number go up technology, it's a system that uh, forces you doesn't let force you to sell your assets and it allows you to express a very long belief in the network and the asset itself. Uh, mm -hmm. And without those electricity costs and with the, the very wide decentralization, because everyone, every individual can stake on their own home laptop, all of a sudden the issuance or the seniorage that a lot of Bitcoin maxless don't like at all. It's in my mind, it's OK because everyone has access to it, you know, not you not know, not the Federal Reserve or not, you know, government insiders can cancel on insiders. But issuance goes across the world wherever there is Internet. And that's where uh, Ether and proof of state becomes extremely equitable in my mind. Bruce, I'm going to let you jump in on that conversation, proof of stake versus proof of work. Obviously, Bitcoiners want to stick to the original code and keep it proof of work, and otherwise it would change. I would like to get your thoughts on, you know, some of the criticism, which is that proof of work is costly. It's not energy efficient and uh, compared to the other alternatives out there. Yeah, I mean, the name kind of says it all. It's proving work. And most of the valuable things in the world, whether it's art or building a building or, or you know, having a great physique, they take work. And Bitcoin proves that the work has been done. Now, doing work doesn't always make something valuable, but most things that are valuable do have work. And with Bitcoin, it is hard work. It's hard work in the sense that it costs money, real money, and a real uh, you know, energy resource. I mean, basically oil. You're taking uh, decomposed dinosaur bones, essentially, and turning them into these things called Bitcoin. And that's uh, expensive. It takes, you have to burn energy. And um, it's certainly not ideal. I wish there was a way to do, to have the same level of security without that. Uh, I'm skeptical that proof of stake will be able to do that. I think there may be some other uses for proof of stake, things that don't have the same security needs. But I think that as far as, Security goes, uh, it's hard to beat proof of work because you're, you're proving that that, uh, you know, limited the coins. And um, so, so that, that's something I think, uh, you, know, you know, is worth considering about, about proof of work. It's not perfect, but I think it's the best we have that so, I've seen so, so far. So you're basically saying it's a necessary evil, as it were, in order to ensure the security of the network. I wouldn't call it an evil, but I think it's the best system that we have. I mean, the, the real evil is fiat, and uh, that system uses far more oil. I mean, you think you think Bitcoin mining is mad bad? Wait till you see how much it costs to have troops bombing brown people all over the world for two decades uh, in Afghanistan. You know, uh, they, you know, an Abrams tank burns five gallons of oil uh, jet fuel. They actually use jet fuel. They it burns five gallons a minute. So. Um, you know, it's it's not it's not evil, and it's uh, it, it it's certainly better than the status quo, which is an extremely evil system that not only burns way more energy, but the fiat system has left three hundred million uh, people dead over the last hundred years. You know, killed by their own governments. So it's uh, you know absolute uh, evil that we're that we're fighting. And uh, if the price of that is burning oil, especially excess energy in many cases especially now it's almost all uh, excess yeah. energy that's being used so I, th I think overall that's uh, you know a real positive 